<laughs> Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen joins on the camera, and we are on air, and I'm dual mic'd. <laughs> wow, she wants to hear everything. So anyways, um, today I'm going to continue on with the back panel. I did the exact same thing on this side as I did on that side. Took it and simplified it, went over top piece of metal, bent it, put a brake in it, over. Got them pieces in, all welded. I really like them. Now what I've got going on is I've got some bronze down here. And the reason I made these pieces like that, because it was the simplest thing to do, that's the reason why I did it. Using my, my canogan, trying to get down to here, make it out of one piece is not the way to go for it. I've got this piece down here that runs up along here. Got a roll here, and then it's got a funny, you know, funny shape going here. Um, you can complicate it if you want to, or you can come to my side and simplify it. There's no big tools I'm going to use to make this. Um, I'm just going to use the best tool of all is my brain. And what I look at, when I look at that, I do not look at, I can't do that. I, I look for what is the shape. Well, how, many, how many shapes is there in that panel? So we've got this shape. It's flat, and it's got a veer up on that end. Yeah, I, I can make that in my own brain. I really can on a flat piece of metal. I can make that shape. Um, this shape here, if you want to complicate it, you're going to add it to this shape and add it to that shape. Take that shape and just put it in your brain as that shape. And to me, that looks somewhat like a, a roll. Of, it's a roll. It's not even, not even half a roll, but it's a quarter roll. In a, and, and, and it goes up on this side. Okay, so basically look at it that way. Um, this is a flat piece of metal that actually, it's not flat up here. It will lay down here if I pushed on it because if you've worked with any metal at all, you can bend it and push it a little bit. Me doing it this way makes it easier than me cutting everything out and trying to, you know, foot it up, fill it back in, not going there. Many, 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 many hours. Not worth the hours to put in it. We discussed that before. But this flat shape, I think that we could make that no problem. So... If you look at it as, 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 as like say four different shapes, one shape, two shape, three shape, four shape. Um, you can kind of dissect it a little bit, how you're gonna make it. To me, I can cut this out of a piece of metal. This piece here, I can roll over something. This piece here um, can be cut out of a piece of flat. If I take a pattern, I can lay it on a piece of flat and I can cut that pattern out. This shape here, um, when I make the roll in it, I can't bend that end up. Or I, I can, but I'm going to have to cut it or, or do something. So basically, that's what goes through my mind. I'm going to have to cut that to make that fit. This flat piece I can make. I'm going to take this flat piece, add it to this curved piece, put that bend in it, put that roll in, in the bottom of the whole thing. So it'll be, if you can picture it, it'll be flat and it'll roll out straight. None of this. So I'm thinking now, if I, if I have to make that out of that, I'm going to have to cut that and, and, and bend that up a little bit and, and try to get my shape. That's what I'm thinking. Then I'll weld that back together in the corner. Um, this piece here, I think I'll apply. I'll just cut that flat shape and leave it simple. So the only really complicated piece I have to make, or not complicated, but the things I have to think about and try to make is to make that corner look like somewhat like that corner. Where I am putting my own metal on the car, some of the shapes are not exactly as they were. But I'm much happier with that shape and that shape than what was there. Who would, who would, how would you ever know? You know you're basically in that shape. Uh, anyways, we're going to make this panel. Let's do it. So we always go to, you know, scissors and cardboard and paper and all that sort of stuff. It's easier to um, take it out of a piece of paper than it is a piece of metal. So let's go for it. We've got a little place. We've got to clean up a little further, no doubt, in my mind. And I just think where, where I welded it on here before, there's a little bit of an edge there where I welded on before. What a, why would I not um, use that weld mark? I'm going to take these out. Nope, I'll screw them in. That way there, I'll know the point of each, of each mark. This here is raised out a little bit. I'm not gonna try to make that. 
I'm gonna cut it out and weld around it. Let's make it a little bit stronger. I think I, it'll grind off nice. It has an edge there now, so I'm, you know, for me to make another little edge, it's not gonna hurt nothing, I don't, I don't feel. I'm just gonna have to cut it in the right place to make it uh, feel right. So we're gonna match up with the old panel right in here. I'm gonna have to guess this one a little bit. What I'll do is I'll make it a little bit long. Make it a little bit long. So we're storming here in Nova Scotia. Can't even feel it. Nope, it's not even there. We're storming here in Nova Scotia right now. And it's, what can I say? What is it? It's not a good feeling, I guess. But I'm with Jolene, so she'll hold me tight. Hold me, baby, huh? Hold me tight. Hope I wasn't talking too much about that, but you know, I really feel like if I simplify it in my brain, maybe I can help you in yours. <laughs> Does that, I don't know if that makes sense or not. Because I'm a simple man. Now, what I'm trying to do is match it up to the cut on this side. I've got this, I've got this, I've got an edge here where the weld was already there. Then I got an edge on this side. You can see where the edge is, where I weld that along there. I'm trying to match that up with it. If I can get it, you know, right on the money, you know, that means that I could probably grind it off to look real good. Okay, we got that shape. Now we're gonna get this triangle in here thing going. Let's get that. Basically, the, you know, if you're if you pay attention to your patterns, pay attention to your patterns, you got it half beat. If you don't pay attention to your patterns, you're half behind because you're not gonna figure it out in time. You know, I'm going to cut that out and see there that lies. You got the three screws there. I just want to cut that out. Kind of weld around that. And now what I want to do is make it long enough. And I don't care what happens on the edge. It's in the center. I'll measure. I want to hold that tight. And that we're there. I got enough for my bend. So I'm going to bend it all the way across this piece of panel. You'll see. You'll see. Now we'll take a measuring tape. Right now we're just getting a lot of wind and rain. Uh, I was up on the roof yesterday, had a few leaks, and I think I found them. We're at seven three quarter on that, so I'm gonna mark that to, I like to have a little bit more, but seven three quarter is the score. So we'll just go with that. And what we'll do is we'll mark it seven three quarter, and then we'll, uh, maybe add a little bit with the ruler, make it straight. And this might have to be trimmed down at any point. Looks pretty good. Driving the truck around was cool. I suck at shifting it, but I'll get her. You know. If I was if I gave up when I was chasing Jolene, I never got her. But I didn't give up. I kept chasing her. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. Anything worth having is is not worth working for, you know what I mean? Not worth working for. I said that right? Did I say that right? No, I didn't say that right. But that's okay. She still loves me. <laughs> you still love me, baby? She's my queen, Jolene. We, uh, we have a, a restaurant close downtown. It's called Filthy Phillies. Uh, we eat there, you know, I'm gonna say quite a bit because it look make us look bad, but we eat there a fair bit. And uh, there's a good friend of mine that you know, runs the place down there. His name's John. I've known him most of my life. But uh, if you ever come to Canning, Filthy Phillies, try it out. We we like it. I'll tell you what, it's the best hangover hangover food you'll ever eat. <laughs> it is so. Lots of cheese, lots of lots of stuff on her, man. Wow. 
Let's put this, I'm going to cut this off and put this painting up here. See what happens. Yeah, like a lot of, a lot of panels that I make, they are not exact as what was there before. And do I care? Nope. Uh, and the reason being is um, I'm repairing because theirs is no more. <laughs> if you know what I'm trying to tell you, like I cannot um, let something cannot let something hold you back because you haven't got what you know what was there. Just make it and go for it. If you're making both sides, it's yours. Own it. We got a piece going up in here. Piece going up in there. And then we got a piece of, ooh, look at that, a little triangle there. What's that? Uh, we want to make, just cut it out a little bit further. That one's a little, that's good. So I want to go a little bit further. And the reason being is, I want to have it away from the screw so I can get the piece in, because there must be a piece that sits in there. If I get welding that too close, I won't get that piece to sit in there. You know what I'm trying to say. There's weld going in there, so you have to have a little room for it. There's a lot of, I've made a lot of mistakes making things too tight. And that's called door gaps, hood gaps. If you start making stuff too tight and too right, um, and before you've done your body work and, your, and all that sort of stuff, you can get yourself in an issue. And it means going back over it and fixing it and giving yourself more room. And it's the truth. It's the truth. And I always, uh, as I'm doing this, I've never thought the way that I think. Um, it's kind to kind of come to me over the amount of years that I've been doing it. And uh, here's where I am today. So uh, in no stretch of the mind or the imagination uh, would I have thought of this probably five years ago to try to separate that you know I, I was actually learning and watching and, and that sort of stuff and and taking tabs off of people that would work for me they'd show me things and I would watch them and that's basically how it went I gotta make that a little bigger so it's not always just the first time you try this it's gonna work you fail you fail, and then you fail again, and then you warp something again, and warp something again, and then after a while you're like, I'm not warping it this time. And it's a good sport too, because you can do it in your own garage and, you know, have nobody affecting you. If you want to post it online, like we do, um, you have to be, what? Able to suck it up. Buttercup. Because... There, there, you know, I do not know everything, but I, I damn well will give away what I do know. Especially if we're able to make a living, <laughs> it's a no-brainer to me. So I'm thinking that piece right there is actually pretty good for a pattern. I've got a little bit over here I probably could cut off and make it a little bit better, and I think I will. And the reason being, I want to get this panel tight and right because it's it's the beginning of it and I, and I have two places that it has to fit over here on the weld and over there on the weld so I really want to hit it and this cur curl right here I want to have in nice and tight too because when I bend it I just want I want the panel that's I'm drawing the circle out of it I want the panel to fit so that comes out to the front of this uh, what we do over here is another situation that seemed very forceful didn't it huh? direct <laughs> nothing better than to like this is quite a nice day actually me and Jolene just nice and quiet you know nothing really you know, I shouldn't say real quiet the wind noise is quite something but a little bit more just a little bit more I want it right on that and I have to put a marker marker line on that if you know what I'm trying to tell you so when I marker line that it's going to bring the metal over a little bit more Okay. A little bit more. I'll cut it 
too big this time then. How's that? That's the way it wants it. Trying to make a nice panel of this. Trying, or I'm hoping to. I'm gonna mark where I want the bend at. That's the center of the bend. And I'll just transfer it with my eye on the piece of metal. Let's do it. Piece of metal. I gotta hurry up, haven't I, baby? Is it time? Turn the edge, see if I got a... It's storm day, boys, stick with us. It's storm day. Like, share, comment, come back. But we're still fixing. Hope I'm holding this good. Because if I don't, it throws off everything. Figure out how many shapes there is in your pattern that you're making or in your piece that you want to make and simplify it. Which one can go with, with which one and you can make. That's the end of it. I'm dual mic'd. Never can have too many ways to cut something. I always say that. And you always sometimes need glasses to see if you're me. My God, you're good looking, baby. We lost power here first thing this morning. And, and the, I guess, first thing come to our mind, you know, when you lose power is, why are we always losing power? And I know the storm is a storm, you, that's what happens, but what is the major, or the major thing? And they say it's, you read it, didn't you not? Is trees falling on the power lines. What I wanna know is, who's cleaning the trees? <laughs> Basically, that's what I want to know. Like, if we know that, like, there's someone's got to get a job and, and clean the trees away from the power lines. I mean, who's got the job? I um, need a hammer. I had a hammer. Right there. Let's get to work. Get to work, bud. Just knocking out the bruises on that. And we're gonna cut the zip, cut that out. I like the plasma cut out, get a couple corners there I don't like, but let's see what happens.
lot of noise, but had to do it. And also, part of the job is figuring out the right tools for the job. That is another part of it. Did I swipe that on you, sweetheart? And to know where you put it back. Or did I put it back? It doesn't look like it's back. It is right there. Yeah, so when you're, when you're you know, get your piece figured out, then you have to figure out how you want to cut it and, and all that sort of stuff. And uh, right now I'm working without my gloves. I want my gloves, but I don't know where they're at with this thing. Trying to move around here a couple times, but you have to figure out the right tools to use for the right job. Um, I've stripped a lot of cars, and every time I strip a car, I get thinking to myself, which is the fastest way, but uh, anyways. Man, that's producing TV right there. It comes a pair of gloves just like that. Went to Wolf and Webster. I'm gonna grind this out a little bit. Could have grabbed the plasma cutter, um, but why I didn't grab the plasma cutter is because um, I would have had to get it out. I would have had to hook it up, all that sort of stuff. So that's why I'm doing it this way. gonna fit you not even close yet because we have to make that magic we have to make it all before um, it actually works basically and we have to trust our instincts I guess that it's gonna work I'm the middle of what's going on there I can't see the middle but I can see how much is there we're gonna just go for it remember it's our panel Get to do as we please. That makes you happy, doing what you please. It's not the one. I'm gonna bring it over a little further. I'm gonna center it up. And I'm allowed to do that because I got it wrong. Sure I am. We're gonna go with that mark. We might even bring it up a little bit further. I'm gonna make a little wider black mark. Make myself happy. Blackest line is the one. I need that shape. Hope it and I can get in here. I've got a roller out there. Jolene showed me the roller. I got the shape right there. Down on the line. Oh, bead roller's in the way. Bring her back a little further. Hoping I get on the line, by that—that that means a lot too. You know, if I don't get on the line, well then. Don't go too much, Teddy. Maybe too much. Let's see what happens. Bent that a little bit. So you can see that's nice straight. Bent that a little bit. Tap, tap, tap. Hammer. Even before I put it on, I know that. Even before I put it on. I'm not even going to be able to put it on because it's not going to fit because of that. We're going to have to do another move. All this stuff you figured out before I even started. Um, it's not too bad. Just looking at their curve and our curve, not too bad. Yeah, it's good. Now, what I'm thinking to get that, put this back on there. Let's use her up again. 
All right, we're at the center. Let's use it up again. Feeling where that spot is. No, don't want it to move. It starts moving and I got issues. This is what I'm gonna do. Well, this sh should, I cut some more off this. I'm gonna cut this side first because the side felt, felt really good. Just a minute now. Yeah. Reason I cut that off it's because I want to bend this piece. I want to put that on there. And then I'll have, huh, I got the pattern, no, I got the pattern the wrong way, I think. I bent it the wrong way. That's too bad. Do you know what I'm saying? This side. No, I didn't cut that off. That's a good thing. That's a good thing, Chetty. But this thing is going to be off, I think. center I'm gonna have to do both sides now I put that pattern on I think the wrong way and the reason I'm saying that is because I'm gonna to have to cut the sides to make it fit but what I'm saying is I put that on there like so I'm saying that I should have to cut that to make that does that make sense here Exact same one on the same side. Yeah, I've got myself. Yeah, it's not so bad. I didn't cut it off. There's lots long to get me in center. What I was afraid of when I put that up there, I didn't cut the end off. So I just I want enough to be able to center that, and I can. Now I want to move this roll. Up there like that. Can I do it? Sure, I can do it. Um, it's not going to be sh straight like that. It's going to have a little round to it. So I'm going to cut a little round to it. I'd be crazy not to. Sure, I would. How much do I cut out? Don't know yet. Just looking at it. Let's try right at the bend. That's flat right down to about here somewhere. That's got a bend in it. That's where it comes. You know, I can't um, expect to have this if I don't include it in my cut. And then we'll just carry on from there wherever it may take us. Well, I am keep thinking I may have to go up further than that, to be honest with you, to get that. I may have to go back there, I might be. All right, let's make a cut. This is where it gets dicey. I'm not sure where exactly I'm gonna cut. I made a couple decisions there. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take away from Some of it. I'm not going to take all of it. I'm not going to take that line away. I'm going to cut this line and then I'm going to cut above uh, the line quite a bit and just see what I get. It's probably not even going to be long enough. That's a, another thing I'm thinking. Let's see what happens.
put a little, I put a little curve up there because I don't want it. I'm gonna bend it in behind or in front of, and then see what I need cut out. My bend's not gonna be long enough. Well, it might be. It might be because we got a little bit down on that one. Geez, I hope so. so. We're just gonna bend this up in front where it needs to be. To be at least there. What I'm gonna do is here, put a put our C clamps on that. We'll get it in place where we think it needs to be. So what I did is I made one cut and I made this cut. This one right here to try to get that up. I'm not cutting anything out yet. I just made that cut right there. One cut. And at the right angle is when I'm gonna zip cut it and butt it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. At the right angle. Don't think that's it. Probably a pair of ice grits would be better, but I don't want to bruise the metal up too bad. Trying to make a panel. Don't think that's the right curve yet. This one over here looks more like it. Yeah, let's see, that looks like it right there. So I can bend that up to, see that line there? We're, we're getting close to that line. And that can be still hammered down, obviously. Now, how am I gonna get that? I've gotta do this, let's do this. Got a piece right here. Just, just right long enough. In all honesty, I should be able to just move, mark that line, cut that line, and make my own distance down here. I can do that by eye. Let's mark this line on here, this dirt ring. This ring of dirt. Some guy sent us, a, I'm not sure what his name is, sent us a couple songs about me and Jolene. He did a fantastic job, fantastic. No, it's fantastic. It's you, Joey, man. Fantastic. Fantastic. So let's just do this. Let's make it a little wide because we can always cut it off. It's a party in the crowd. I want to. So I'm telling you, it's your car. You can make the piece as big as you want to or whatever. I'm just trying to simplify it. So it's easy. I did not know if that's going to work, but it is. around like someone stole me something, didn't I, right? And it was right there. So the bottom piece can be left on or can be trimmed off at any time. You're having good luck with the with the power. If the power goes out, you might not get to see this. You don't, you don't know, we don't know. We don't know. Now, you know what I'm gonna do already, I hope. With this piece here, I'm going to be able to know what the front of that piece is supposed to look like. Joanne said, I'm way ahead of you, boy. I'm way ahead of you. And this is the stuff that you think about, or I think about. How am I going to make that? Or do I just make the small piece and weld the piece up? Like, you know, I even had to ask Joanne, what, do I, you know, what, what should I do with this here, right? And it's kind of a thing where, um, nope. Gonna say, what's going on with this car? You can see where she's bent, and I'm going to. I'm probably gonna put that piece right on. Why wouldn't I? I'm gonna put it on there right though, ain't I? Um, this one here has to be bent up. I think that one's right. And the reason being is, I'm not sure. Of that. 
What's this over here? I'll show you the same thing. Yeah, it most certainly will, but this one is the one that's going on. I've got to tack this, and that's all there is to it, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. I've got to get... I think I'm going to go with this one. And then I'll make this one the same. Let's tack it together. Do, 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 do. And there's more one way to skin a cat. You can make this panel any way you want to. But for me, um, I'm trying to simplify it for me. And the reason being is I don't have the big tools. And I'm not sure how fast it would take you to build something like that on the big tools. If like if it took you the day or two days, well, I don't even want to talk about the big tools. <laughs> right? Uh, not really. I'll be truthful. I'm going to tack it where it's tight. I, that, that'd be the, the rightful thing for me to do, wherever it's tight. That's where it's tight. Now let's this one down a little bit. And I'm just going to look at this distance right here. From there to there to that mark, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Just sort of give me the exact same what's going on. The same distance. You know, somewhat. I mean, let's face it, this panel's going to be bent around a little bit. I should have, could have, hold them down so nice that I can just do that like, like so. Just for shits and giggles, I'm going to end up cutting that off, but I had to tack it on there to find out what I'm doing. Now we got Jolene's piece. We've got a dolly. This is one Jolene want me to use. So I can bend that up a little bit. Shut that off. A dolly can be, be, be held, be used for, uh, can be used for shape. It can be used for holding. It can be used for a whole bunch of things. So, um, yeah, you get what I'm saying. It's raining out there now, isn't it, baby? Uh, we got a hammer. We're just gonna tilt that up some because I grabbed the wrong one. No. Looks better already, don't it? Huh? And I haven't really done much other than hold this. Right? What we want is a roll down in there. With the roll up, I'm going to, I'm going to butt weld these together. And I think I'm going to cut it right from, that one can come down a little bit. But let's try it on there. Oh, we still got square stuff that's hitting up top. It's going to be bent in. This one could come up higher. That one come up higher, couldn't it? Sure could. Cut it off. Make it come up higher. Probably could have put it in there to try this first place. Huh? Right there would be nice. Ah. Oh. Ground me. get to work. Okay, let's round this up a little bit.
Thanks, sweetheart. That come untack. That's fine. That's fine. I want to see that fit. I'm a little bit shy in there. And the ends out. Wondering what I'm going to cut easier. I'm going to start. I'm going to start butt welding these together so I can start getting the panel in there. I got meat in behind there. I do not want that meat in there. I'm just wondering which line I want to go with. I can go with this one. Or I can go. With, I'm going to go with this one. Make it work. Put a glove on. We'll butt weld that together and then we'll make it work. I'm not sure. What my Emma. Let's get the first one done. I'm going to get a helmet on too. Why not? Make no sense for me not to. We're going to start with the very first one. And then we're going to make it work. Just trying to make it soft edge, that's all. What I mean by soft edge, they're both curled a little bit, basically. Trying to line them up so they're straight. And remember, if this does not go right for me this time, I have to do it again. Like, basically, I have to do it again. Don't have to, but I'd want to. That one's so good, did I? Maybe I cut it better than the last one. They're lined up there. After I tack it together, I'll be able to manipulate it more. Yes, I will. Just trying to get that piece of metal over there a little tighter. This requires me putting up the headlock. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it, I mean, that's what it takes sometimes, to be honest with you, like you really have to, 
Yeah. Yeah. Put her in the headlock. Full Nelson. To get it to go where you want it to go. Man. I'm gonna put this dolly in behind there. Knock that edge over. Ooh, that was sweet. Put some gap going down there. But you know what's going on, won't you? Penetration. Now I got it from this side. Mold that up in there nice, grind that nice. Same with that one. Oh. We're getting closer, that's for sure. Gotta curl the ends up a bit more. baby. Man, we're tight to the bottom. See, we're tight down there. I'm feeling happy. Now, see the top corners are poking in there. Got to bend them over or get them shoved in there or cut some off it. And probably it's going to want it's quite a panel. Anyways, what I'll do is I'll tack it in the center and then I'll go from there. How far can I? Nope. Not going to do that. And cut some off it. That's probably what I'm going to do. What time are we at? 48. 48. Let's do a little bit more. Let's try to get that in there. Didn't know if I, how much time I was wasting or what, but let's get this in there. Um, where it's straight on the top, I'm, I can take off with the shear over there. It's just how much am I gonna take off? It's basically right there. Just kind of trim that off. Get that rock and rolling right there. Get that rock and rolling. Right Ooh, that looks good. Happy, happy. But I need to get this in. It's on hitting on that corner, hitting on that corner. Bend it, they said. Bend it on the corner a little bit. gonna work <laughs> it's gonna work awesome awesome and a little bit more then I can push it back in <laughs> just look and see if there's the same you can do that just as well as I can I have a lot of people that can tell me when something don't look good, look good. They obviously can tell me when it looks bad or looks looks good, if you know what I'm trying to say. We have we have blast off right there. I'm gonna to have to get these ends fitting better. Stop it, get off me. Please get off. Now this panel does not fit exactly like the old one. The reason will be is because I made it. <laughs> This shit. Make myself laugh. I'm gonna take a little bit off right here. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna trim off a little bit here. Not too much though. Probably none at all. I probably shouldn't be. I slid over there or something did. Nope, not taking any off that. It's this side. Top a little bit. All right. Let's do it. Get it ready.
just wanted to leave a little extra on there in case in case that's not bad nope we can have a little bit more out of that in the center Now, another, another a good thing, not to say a good thing, another thing, a way I'm putting these panels on. It's taken me a lot less time because I have this panel to push against and lean against and do hammer against and do whatever. If I was taking and cutting this panel off to, you know, apply, um, I, I feel like there's, there's so much more time involved in there. Knock these off. that on the center like that put that on we'll start applying it awesome oh so where it comes in easier obviously is because I'm going to be able to shape this piece I'm not going to take the time obviously we're 50 minutes in 10 minutes talking but I'm going to shape that piece actually using the piece underneath just like what you can do um, you can ap apply a piece of metal to a piece of metal a lot easier than you can fabricating from something from nothing and pushing it in and that's what we are doing right or wrong um, I feel if someone looked after this car uh, being done this way would last a lifetime if they looked at if you looked after it have to listen got a center where I wanted on this <laughs> how did I how did I know that? I had it centered and I was ready to rock and roll. How did I not know? Centered again. I'm gonna use this to center it. The reason being is I have to. I want that piece to set back in there like it should with the license plate. Yeah. Slipped a little bit, but oh well. <laughs> As I slip, one one can hold it to it's in place no nope, I want this I want to make sure it's tight and right I'm dual mic'd I don't know so I feel like we are centered kind of a boo-boo there but I slept near lab too once in a while you're allowed to. That one there fits good. I got to take, try to get some more off that. Nope, not gonna do it. Just really shove in there, but it will. Okay, we're just gonna nail it where it's tight. That's the only place to nail it where it's tight. Do you wanna take one of the mics off me? Nope, doing good. It's the only place you want to nail it where it's tight. No other place. Matching up with the other weld, that's good. All right.
over top of the weld maybe. Get off the Simpsons, ain't it? She's tight. What can I say? Nail it. Right? We're tight. I'm tight here, too. Now just roll this down till we're tight. I was gonna say, um, yeah. Let's get this side tight. And everything I'm doing here, as you get to watch, then then there's the job of grinding it and make it look good. If you over grind it and do something silly, do something silly and over grind it and, and do that sort of stuff, you really can damage your product. What you want or what I'm looking for is to try to make the nicest panel I can. That's all I'm trying for. I'm going down here further. I'm gonna weld the bottom of it up and then I'll see it hit the top of the hammer, see if I can't get it in. tight in that corner. It's tight up top, I know that. Good. Awesome. Good. I don't think I even have to push on it, but I'm gonna. It helped a little bit. We're tied up in there. We don't have to really rock and roll right there right now. I'm thinking that the main part would be this stuff. It's tight. Hammer it down. Just gonna push down my fingers. Just want to make it match the piece I have there now. Basically, just want it to so I can grind it off so I can get it to look right. I got that bent up. Let's get a couple C-clamps. Fire down, see what happens. Prior down like that. Getting up. If it's not exact, it's probably because you made it. Don't want to bruise it. Just want to bend it down. And that will be cut off and then brought down to the piece we're trying to put in there. Now we have it, we have like, little, see, like, it needs to be, see, you can see the piece to me. I can see, the trick of this now is, I can see where the metal is welded on this piece. You can see right there where it falls off. Now I'm going to weld that shot, this from here to there. Weld that shot and then I can grind that, then I can smooth that off. If I do not do that, well, then I will not be able to. Same with this side, if there's a little room in there. And obviously, down through here, I'll have to weld it and grind it. I have to make my second piece. What time's it now? 102, keep going. Keep going, she says, keep going. So, what I'm going to do right now for. Nope, I'm just going to leave that like that. I'm going to cut the other piece. Woo! 
and I've got the other piece made, so we may as well cut it. Not looking so bad so far. Um, yeah, it's looking good. Both pieces look the same. It's got a little bend right here, a little bend, a little bend right there. It's flat. It's down on that. We're standing good. And there's going to be some time where um, Oh, okay. It's good. Let's cut this piece. Stop pushing on it. Got to get back and take a look at it, I guess. That's what I'm looking for. Let's get this piece made. Um, I had to cut that off, didn't I? We have the other quarter panel all cut and cut in half with uh, the wheel lip already made. Got that done. Maybe I can steal this piece of metal. Ah. I guess. It's so dirty that... I'm delicate on moving that. Left hand, folks, left hand. Sharp, I'm gonna get my gloves on for that. It's not worth my cut. Could have spun that up with the wheel first, but and a lot of times, you know, making something, uh, it's with um, how you clean it, how you grind it, for it to look right. So what I'm doing is I'm taking away from the two bronze patches that were put in it in the small hole. I'm going in a different direction. And uh, take it if you like, throw it in if you don't. tack this on remember the bottom can be cut off to make it look right I made it probably a little bit bigger than it should have been and that's what you should always do that's from me to you winds seems to calm have calmed down hasn't it, baby pretty cool bends of this, this little machine you can it's a simple thing it's like its operator got a hammer down here straighten it There's not too much that cuts things that's not, that does not require work afterwards. So, uh, yeah, I cut it out with that piece there. Uh, it requires work to put it back in shape because it kind of distorts it a little bit. Puts it in, distorts it a little bit. Uh, the grinder actually makes sharp edges, so you have to clean the edges. Uh, probably the best thing that cuts metal would be your shear. And your shear just slices it off nice and straight, nice and quick over but uh, most other stuff causes more work <laughs> I like it that fits right 
right there. If I try, cut a little bit off each edge. So I, I what I want to what? <laughs> do you hear that? What I want to what I want to what I want to do is I've got. See, I can see I got it welded off there. I got it welded off over here. I want to end it. So it's like a vat. That's how I want to end it. But I want to place that on there. I like a vat. Ooh, that looks good. But I have to get it. You know, I have to split that up, I think. Take an eighth off either side. I'm going to go for it and say that. And uh, we'll weld it on. Sometimes this is my downfall. It's making a guess. And, uh, but I'm going for it. Living on the wild side. Ooh, that fits in there. See that, baby? See that? See how it fits right there? Nice. Now, what I've got here is, is I've got a, this is stucco here. I have to dolly that straight before I even take off and do anything. Should have done that way beforehand, but I did not. Did not. Keep them, ouch, ouch, ouch. Keep them clamped right there. I'm gonna center that like that because I feel like that's right. So I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna pull that up like that. It's over. And I'll beat, cut that lip off and beat it down to it. And Bob's your uncle and Peter's your regular. Let's get another C clamp. Welder, but I tap Helster. I'm going to tack it once. getting her in place and then I would cut so I get it in place here I place place my uh, spot weld right in the center and then I would I got the metal right so I can grind it all off and then what I would do is I come up here and push this back so it was tight and right and then I start shearing this off and butt, butt welding that to that piece got that in there nice so then I ended up cutting that off and beating that piece down to that piece we'll get it down there uh, this piece has to be pushed up so that goes under, but we're ready to rock and roll on this piece. Uh, it's going really, really, really good. Um, and once I get it welded on there and get time to grind that weld off, because we got it meeting pretty good on the other one, um, it's going to look fantastic. But it's obviously going to take me work to make it look that way. Um, but I had, I had two choices, or three choices. Cut it all out and fix it, take a week or so <laughs> to make it look really, really good. Um, just make a piece along the bottom here and then put a little tack over the, over the piece of rust. And the reason being is that, you know, in case I filled it out, I, want, I would have it to be filled out. Or make the whole piece and grind it out and make it look the best it can and be happy with it. Um, what I'm feeling is that I've got a like if, if it's undercoated, it's probably a lifetime fix, I feel. But um, if you're going to leave it outdoors, it would rust and, go, and deteriorate like any other normal car. 
All right, everybody, thanks for coming back. We really appreciate it. Um, lights went out in the house. If we get a chance, and she has to load it and then all that sort of stuff on the computer, so I'm not sure if that can happen, but uh, if you get to see this, have a great day, everybody. We are, come back tomorrow and we'll be here.